Okay, so this video is about me getting a side of my house painted in the Philippines. Uh, the guy starring in this video is my brother-in-law. And, uh, you know, sometimes people think, oh, if you're an expat, your family, your Filipino family is going to take advantage of you somehow. You know what? You can watch this video and you can make your own mind up. Uh, they contribute in every way that they can. This video is about uh, Michael and him painting the side of the house, but I thought it was such a unique method of building the scaffolding and painting the house that I thought I'd get it on video. You're not going to see this done like this in the United States. And you may say, good, you know, maybe uh, they shouldn't do it this way. But, and you may say, well, what about you know, safety features and all this stuff. I'm not advocating that this is the way you do things, but uh, I am saying that this is the way that it's done here. And at least in the province, I'm sure, you know, when you're on a high rise and all this kind of stuff, you know, it's, it's a different situation. But here, these skills that he's got have been passed down for generations. And you can tell by the way he walks up and down the bamboo uh, scaffolding that he's very comfortable doing this. He's very used to doing this and he's very skilled at making the scaffolding. So just watch, just watch and uh, just try to watch and enjoy it. I mean, uh, you're watching something, probably it's gonna go away one of these days. And this is what you'll see, you know, in the province. This is how you'll see. You watch this next section. He's fastening on this. Uh, he's going to tie on the, the top layer, the top rung of his scaffolding. And you're going to be amazed here in a minute. Now watch how he ties the knot. He pulls it up. He's doing this. This is one man doing all this stuff. He did this 100% by himself. His brother's working construction somewhere else. And Michael just, he don't need the help. I mean, would it be better? It might be. You see how he, he swings that bamboo pole up there with his leg? He's holding on. He's actually got three points of contact, which is a good, you know, safety measurement anywhere in the world. Uh, he's got, you know, two feet down on the bamboo he's standing on, and then he's got his hand wrapped around the, the pole that's sticking up. And notice his uh, ability to tie knots and stuff. Now he, he's going to secure this last one here and uh, just watch how he ties it. I showed real quick. It's tied off to a, a drain up there on our wall. We could actually put gutters in there. Now I'm going to let, let him talk a little bit, but watch how he ties the knot. And I'm asking him, you know, he's, this is his final one. So, you know, we're just kind of talking back and forth how he's going to do this. And so he ties one knot. I, I wouldn't want to do this, but he does it all. He's just been doing it for years. He's about, he's about 40, 47, 47 years old too. I don't know many 47 year olds in the United States that, uh, that could do this or would want to do it or should do it for that matter. I love to watch him tie this knot. He pulls down it, see like that. Tightens it again. And a third time, then he tightens off. He ties off his loose end very carefully. And he could literally hang from that by his arms. You know, he's, he's about the same size, he's shorter, but he's about the same weight that I was when I graduated high school. Now watch him. Here he goes. He's testing it out. And I asked him if he's going to climb down. He said, no. He's smiling. You can see him smiling. He's telling me, I'm coming up. I'm like, oh, my God. Here he comes. Three stories up, and he just pops over the top. Now that's the ingenuity, the skill of the rural provincial Filipino that can do stuff like that. A little dog footage here. Now this footage 
I took, he was, uh, he was just painting, doing some, he was actually, he had uh, filled in a bunch of cracks earlier, and this, you, you probably saw a picture, or you're going to see a picture, yeah, where it looks like graffiti, but he actually sort of kind of skim-coated some cracks that were in the, uh, in the, that dark color underneath the white paint is called Plexibond. It's a uh, waterproofing that we put on about three years ago. So he kind of shored up that paint. Now he's climbing down, but that's where he, he had already put on some white paint. And then he's down. You can see right here in the next clip, that's where the cracks and everything, he was very careful to go over any imperfections and skim coat it. That's not just paint. He mixed a, uh, a powder compound with that that's a waterproof uh, compound. And then he, he just painted that stuff on and filled in those cracks and troweled it on there until they were smooth. Here he's, he's standing on somebody else's tin roof on the timbers that are holding the corrugated sheet metal on and he's got a little tiny roller that he's using. And we will look at that roller and we'll say, why in the heck would you use that small of a roller? You might ask that question. Well, um, he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a big place where he could put a bigger roller, he said. Now, he eventually, when he got on the lower part, he did use a bigger roller. But he said the big roller is heavy too, and he's got the small bucket that he's working with. And he actually hangs that bucket from, uh, with a, a double hook from the bamboo. So it's just very handy for him. And this is the way they do it. It's just the way they do it. And, you know, we can come in here and say, well, you shouldn't do it that way. You should do it this way. But you got to remember, these folks have been doing it this way for longer than I've been alive. So he's almost done right now. Uh, I'm, I'm speaking after this video was taken. He's got to put one more coat on the whole thing. And that is a, that is a waterproof white enamel paint put out by uh, Boysen. It's a very, very, the most popular paint in the Philippines as far as I can tell. And so he's putting it on there. And he's going to put three coats on the whole thing. And what that does, it builds up a real reflective layer that the walls on the inside of the house actually remain a lot cooler because of this uh, because of this white paint. And you see, you might say, well, how much does it cost to get it done? Well, I I bought the whole house so far. I bought two uh, big pails of it. About uh, I think they're about sixty dollars a piece. That's one hundred and twenty. I'm paying him five to 600 pesos a day. Those bamboo pieces are 160 pesos each. So uh, that labor is pretty cheap. 500 pesos is like $10 a day. And if he was working for me or working for anybody else, that's what he would make.